Hello everyone and welcome back to All The Mods 9. In the last episode, we set up this. A room of which there are three beehives and there's about 10 bees in there. We have some amber encased chickens and as a result, we get some uh, honeycombs of the this variety, <laughs> the hematoph... Uh, the blah, 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 whatever. Um, so that, that, that's pretty cool. As a result, when we process that, we get blood. Now, you might notice that this is our blood magic blood that we're getting. It's pretty good. It's life essence or LP, life points or whatever. You might notice that this is going up really, really fast. A lot faster than it was last episode. Um, in the comments of the last episode, it was pointed out by Dark Vision that Chosen Architect, a, a, another Minecraft, uh, modern Minecraft YouTuber, made it work with the simulators. And so th there was some suggestions saying that maybe this bottom uh, beehive was interacting with the top feeding slab instead of the one that I intended it to use. I don't know if that's possible. I mean, I, I guess it could be, but I tried it down here. Now on the feeding slab, it didn't work. It just didn't work for whatever reason. I had the feeding slab just as I did these. There's none in the area around it and it wouldn't work. But placing the block, boy oh boy, did it work. <laughs> Um, so I've timed in a bottle this a bit. I might not time in a bottle it the whole way through. Um, maybe we will. But as you can see, ridiculous <laughs> amounts of the honeycombs, um, courtesy of these four Omega upgrades. So if you're wondering why we have 1000 buckets worth of, uh, life points or life essence, that is why. Um, I assume these guys, yeah, they're <laughs> trying to catch up. And the blood's obviously just going in there as it's done. Pretty good. Pretty good, if I say so myself. Um, so yeah, that, uh, that's that. Now, you might have also noticed, I glanced upon this. Um, I've started building around um, our area here. So all I've done so far, obviously, is I've used these small stone bricks, which is just uh, stone in the um, re-chisel chisel. And then I use some mixed oak log, which is oak logs in the... Um, what do you call it? The carpentry bench over there. And I, I think it's a great start. That's what I'll say. I think it's a nice start and I think there's a potential here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I think it looks better than how it did look. I, I felt inspired to uh, just at least tackle the big mess and make it a little tidier. I, I've tried to leave room around so that I can add some stuff, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, so what is happening this episode? Great question. Phenomenal question. Let's, let's give it a shot. So, or, or I guess let's see what we're going to do. Um, the first thing I think I want to do is get a hold of this blood. Now, if we pop over here, we I know we've got a little bit of tank action there. I was wondering if we had a proper tank, but we might not actually have like a proper tank tank. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but I think what we'll do is we'll grab a dimensional tank. So we'll go back to crafting. Um... Du, 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 dimensional tank, there they are. So we'll go ahead and attempt to make two of these. Might be a little bit uh, messier than I thought it would be. Boom, pow, boom, pow, cool. Uh, and one of these will fill up with the blood and we'll send that over to our new area. So this stuff is all connected, allegedly. So we'll place this here. Um, let's go ahead and change it to my network, I guess. And let's set it as network 10. Sure, let's click change. It's on frequency 10. It should be. At the top, it still says zero, but we're going to pretend that everything's A-OK. -okay. Let's grab the exporter and we'll grab a stack upgrade and see how this goes. So, yeah, let's give it a shot. Exporter, stack upgrade. Um, let's jump into the fluid grid and grab out our life essence and paste that in there. Oh, change it to fluids. And... <laughs> oh, wait. And... Yeah, how cool is that? Sweet. So now we've got the life essence in a dimensional tank and we should be able to just bring that over the hill here and and start putting it into the altar. Um, we may have some fun with some entangled blocks as well to see if we can maximize how much goes in here. But first things first, let's begin. So we'll jump in here, change it to frequency 10 and change it to dual stream network. And there we go, cool. Um, we'll place our fluid pipe, jump over to our configurator and pow. So currently we have two buckets in there. Um, yeah. Is the number going up? 
Well, the number isn't going up. I'm trying to watch the bar itself. And I think it actually is going up. Do you guys see that? If you look at the very top of the screen, it, it was at the S and now it's at the start of the E of, li of life essence, the second E. So if you watch that, it actually, it is moving. You might also, if you keep watching that, but we can also zoom in, you might be able to see it visually go up. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. It's, it's at the end of the E now. So it is working. Um, but this is what I was talking about in terms of um, we might need more of these or at least some of these displacement runes. Um, so we'll have to look into that because obviously this is way too slow. I don't think adding multiple of these helps. I think it's purely a limitation with how much this guy accepts. I don't think spamming uh, pipes actually helps. Um, but yeah, cool. So, hey, that's a start at least. Um, so that's pretty cool. We, we can obviously chuck in a pipe upgrade just to, I guess, further prove the point or at least test the point. So if I chuck that in there and we look in here again, as you can see, it's not going like crazy fast or anything. Um, so yeah, cool, sweet. But we have the blood. It does exist. It's just not quite as fast as we want it just yet. Okay, so displacement runes. Currently, um, we we can make the buckets of water, which is awesome. <laughs> I can also click the wrong button 20 times in a row. That's great. Um, but the imbued slates we need. Now, these require a tier 3 altar. Um, they also require a reinforced slate, which requires a blank slate. Uh, which is obviously stone in the blood altar. Cool. So that's where we're at currently. <laughs> so I'm going to grab a stack of stone. I'm going to also, I think, start like start automating this a little bit. So let's grab... I think we will use entangled blocks. Boom, boom, boom. So we'll entangle this guy. Um, we'll, we'll just bring this over here. It doesn't really need to be too crazy. Entangle him. Uh, we can grab a dimensional chest. Uh, pow, and we should be able to, boom, there we go. So, the, the, I mean, this is going to work, right? This is going to, oh, is it going to work? <laughs> I don't actually know that it is in hindsight now because we would have to add filters, I'm pretty sure. Like, if I set this to extract, it will take off the slate, but I'm pretty sure it will take off the stone as well. Yeah, see, bit of a problem. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's, re let's rethink this and use the redstone to help us. So allegedly this guy outputs redstone <laughs> when he's uh, done. Meaning, and, and we can actually just have a quick look to make sure that's true. I should be able to place a lamp here, put that in there, the stone. And if we watch when the stone is done, transforming into a blank slate, this should, and, um, this should light up. It does take a few seconds. <laughs> ah, see? How cool is that? So what we can do now, I believe, is we can grab a redstone, um, ah, well, actually, there's a few things we can do, I guess. What do we want to do? If we get a block reader from Integrate Dynamics, um, and we grab some logic cables, sure, grab that, and yeah, we'll grab, I don't know, ah, we'll probably need a few variable cards. <sighs> and probably a variable store, now that I'm sort of thinking about it. All right, we should be able to do this. All of this, listen, completely doable. So we'll grab that and then a redstone writer. Cool. Okay, so we can place a... Oh, I think it just upgraded into a... Uh, or it tried to, maybe. Yeah, and it ran out of uh, essence. Anyhow. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. This is how I'm going to do it. I'm sure there's a better way, but this is my simple brain way to do it. So what I'm going to be looking at is the light level. And currently, it is zero. <laughs> so what I want to do, and I I'm pretty sure this works is I want to say, um, I want to check that light level. So if we go down here to light level, we can place this in. And I want to also go in here and type integer. So we get a number. I want it to be, yeah, actually, I, I want it to be zero. So we're going to place that in there. Cool. And then we're going to search for greater than. So greater than. And now what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, if the light level from that uh, reader is greater than zero, so not greater than and equal to, which is here, we want only greater than, so obviously one and up. Um, then I want you to emit a redstone signal. So that's how that should work. So we can now bring this down. Um, we can place down our variable store. We can, um, what can we do? We can place down our dimensional chest here with a redstone here. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 that should work. And we can place down a... Um, 
entangled block. Hook that guy up to extract. Grab a pipe upgrade. There we go. Um, chuck him in. Have him on when powered. And then place our redstone rider. So this will apply the redstone to the block, hopefully. Um, like that. So we can put our other variable cards in there. And as you can see, it turns into a tick. So <laughs> what should happen is... When that lights up, this will turn on and it will put, uh, the, it will take the stuff out. Cool. So now in theory, I can grab that stone back and we can place that on there. And then when it's done, we should get, um, a blank slate in my, in my storage system. Assuming of course there's enough blood in the altar to begin with. Oh, there it was. Hold on. Cool. Works perfectly. Um, so, okay. Okay. Now, um, for the crafting part. The crafting part is a bit tricky. Um, realistically, what we would want is just for this to always be full. You know what I mean? So if I order a blank slate, I don't have to worry about whether there's a bucket worth of, you know, life points in here or however much it is. Um, I'm just trying to think how difficult it would be to make something that checks and only puts the stuff in if it's, a, if it's able to, but... I think it's just a bit too messy. What we could do instead is we could treat it to where, hey, don't put in the item unless the altar is full. That might work better because once it's full, right, then then essentially by using that system, let's say we put a stone in there and it uses 800 uh, mil buckets or whatever, that's the equivalent of me waiting until there's 800. You know what I mean? Like by waiting for it to fill back up. Does that make sense? <laughs> it might not, but that's okay. We're probably going to do it anyway. So let's go... Ta uh, no, I think it's Fluid Reader. Fluid Reader. There we go. Reads Fluid Tanks. Excellent. Um, we're going to want another Redstone Rider. A classic. <laughs> um, where are you? Redstone Rider. Beautiful. Um, we'll also want some Logic Cables. Um, which are going to need some Mineral Chunks. Which I think I can order. Believe it or not. Which is pretty good. Yeah, cool. All right, so we'll grab some of those. Um, we are going to need a variable store. So we'll order that as well. That shouldn't take too long, I imagine. <laughs> yep, cool. Um, and then in terms of variable cards, we'll grab three again. And that should be us ready to go. So the plan is that we place our fluid reader here. Give it a logic cable. Um, that allows us to open it. And we can check if the tank's full. First, we want to see if it's working properly. Already, it looks like it is. It's telling us how much blood's in there. It's telling us the capacity of this. Um, cool. So I can say, hey, if the tank is full, output redstone signal. That's what that does. If tank's full, output redstone signal. And that is probably just good enough. Uh, we can go ahead and grab a pipe here. We can grab a, a chest, I, I suppose. <laughs> we can place our chest here. Cool. Um, this should work. I should set that to extract. We'll grab a pipe upgrade, of course. Chuck that in there. Tell him on when powered. Um, place our logic cable here. Place the redstone rider facing this guy. And say, hey, if the tank's full, output redstone signal. So currently it's not full, so it says false at the bottom. Once it's full, this will say true, allowing this guy to extract. Awesome. That should work. <laughs> so next on our list, I think the play will be that I entangle this guy and then send the recipes through that way, if that makes sense. So we'll jump here. We'll jump um, over here into this nice little cozy <laughs> enclosure that we've, we've slapped together. Oh, God, there's really not much space that I've given myself. Um, and what we'll do is we'll grab an entangled block. We'll grab a crafter. Does not need to be a fancy crafter. In fact, the less items at once is probably the best. Um, and then I need it to face this way. Cool. Awesome. Crafter. Let's entangle it. So that's the chest. Cool. Um, and then I think we're kind of good to go. <laughs> Maybe. The, pro the only problem is I don't know if we can put more than one item on the altar at once. That That's going to make or break this currently. Um, so, for example, let's add this recipe. And let's also add the reinforced slate since we can do that with this tier of altar. So, the idea is that that will work. <laughs> That's the idea, all right? Um, yeah, and we'll sort of 
fingers crossed that it that it does indeed work. Okay. So we'll try it. First things first. Ah, I mean it's not gonna work until this guy's full. <laughs> I suppose I can help that up a little bit with a with a sacrificial knife. Let's let's maybe just help it fill up. We've got plenty of hearts now. We can we can actually get away with it. Cool, 10 buckets, so it's full. Awesome. So if I go blank slate and we order one. Eh? Huh? Ah, eh? Eh? Not too bad. <laughs> Assuming that works. Yeah, yeah, there we go. The particles have started. Cool. So that should absorb a decent amount. It should still be filling while it's absorbing, so that's good. Very nice. <laughs> this is exciting. Okay, cool. So that, that's done. Um, we'll fill it up again. We'll help it out. So it's full. Ten, ten buckets worth. I'm now going to see what happens if I order two. Will it put two stone in the thing? That's the question of the day. Oh, one weighted. Beautiful. I think we're good then. I think we're good because that won't let that out until this guy's full again, which we should be able to see once this one's done. So that's done. And as you can see, we've still got one here, but this guy's not full. And let's say that it happened to get full. Ta-da! Brilliant. Okay, so we've we've automated um, that, which is a, honestly a pretty big step. So I'm quite happy with that. What is next? Um, we need to, if we want these displacement runes to really take advantage of our infinite blood that we have. Um, well, actually, hold on. Before we do that, what can I do with the blood? So in order to get a bucket of blood, you can put a bucket into here and it will fill with blood. Can I do the opposite? Is that possible? I don't think it is, right? Hold on. Uh, I mean, I can place it there. If I do that, it drops it. Look, I, I, I'm i gonna, gonna just assume not because I don't think we need to. I, I, I think I'm happy with what we've got. Um, so what I'm gonna do is we'll grab this guy. Let's open him up. Let's aim for the tier three. Let's see if we can pull that one out. Um, so the blood altar, here we go. So we've done a tier two, nice and fancy. And now we're going for a tier three. So we can right click on this again. Oh, there we go. So here we are. Um, yeah, so we're gonna need all of these to be runes, <laughs> then some stone bricks and just a glowstone on top. That, I mean, we can do that. So <laughs> we need a lot of these uh, blank runes or oh, slates, sorry. Slates, yeah. So I've currently got five. How much do we need? One, two, three, four, five. Five per each. Okay. Yeah, yeah, cool. Hold on. Rune. So I've got one. <laughs> We've got one. We've got five. So what, what do I need? I need 15. I need 14. I need 14 more blank slates, I believe. At least currently. So we can order them. And I'll tell you what. They'll be on their way. It might take them a little time to get here, but, but they're on their way, okay? Uh, what we'll do as well. So we'll grab some stone bricks, shall we? And we'll just build all the way up. Like so. Cool. Boom, boom, boom. Oh god, it's very trippy at the moment. I don't really... <laughs> okay, yep. Everything's fine. Boom, boom. Cool. Uh, let's grab four glowstone. Why not? Boom, pow. Boom, pow. Cool. So all that's left are the runes, of course. Um, one, <laughs> and yeah, the rest should be on their way. Obviously, it's going to have to top up with blood. Oh, this is down to seven buckets. It definitely put in more than one at a time then, right? It looks like, yeah, it looks like it's done three at a time. No, no, I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know, but whatever it did, it's clearly it used a lot more blood than I thought it would. Oh, well, either way, it's fine. We'll, look, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. We just need... Displacement runes. Yeah, cool. So, I mean, it looks like there's only one on there, right? All right, there's definitely more than one on there at, at the moment because <laughs> it got back down to seven buckets. Um, I, I have no idea how many are on here currently. Oh, there's 11. Yeah, look at that at the top of the screen. Okay, so no, the system isn't working as intended by any means. Um, I, d I don't even know how to, how to resolve this. <laughs> I, you know what? I, 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 I've... Oh, I mean, I, I actually do know. I, yeah, hold on. My brain is catching up and I'm there. I've, 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 I've caught up. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that this has enough blood, obviously. 
no one that to ruin. Uh, that should be plenty, I think. What we're going to do is we're going to move the chest and we're going to get, I think, a display stand. I think this is a, like a display pedestal, one of these bad boys. So grab one of those. What do I need? White carpet. We can do it. And then we get this guy. Cool. You still struggling? Come on, man. How much blood do you need for 11? Um, okay. So you're going to be picked up. That's going to go there. We can uh, hook this back up. That's all well and good. Boom, boom. Fire redstone. Cool. And then what we'll do is we'll have the chest here. Now, <laughs> now this should work. If I were to put stone here, for example. You know what I am a little bit concerned about? Um, I kind of want this one to finish first. Because I don't want to accidentally ruin that. Cool. Okay, so let's... um. Let's top this up. So it's full. Cool. So if I put a s eight stone here, okay, it moves four at a time. That that was a little bit what I was worried about. A little bit what I was worried about, he says. So what I want to happen here is I need something that can only hold one item. Can I use an item frame? Question of the day. I don't know if you can pipe onto an item frame. And no, it looks like... <laughs> Looks like you can't. What can hold only one item? I recall... No, that only holds one item slot, I think. I would have assumed those display stands, but clearly... Well, clearly not. Um, we've, we've done this a few times in the past. We haven't been able to figure it out. Skystone chest? Why do I feel like... <laughs> Why do I feel like this... Oh, wow. This holds even more than I thought. What does the Skystone block chest hold? Here we go. Skystone block. Yeah, okay, same thing. Cool. Um, what are you thinking? What do you got? What, what, what have you got for me, guys? What are we thinking? Um, oh, you know what? What are those... Um, what are the pedestals from... Not necessarily... Oh, we could try Mystic. Oh, we could try, yeah, we could try this one. So if I place this and I try to do that, ah, it's promising. Let's give it a whirl. I was going to say, um, I don't even remember. I was going to say the nature's aura pedestal, but this might, I mean, hey, <laughs> this might work. Hold on. Hold up. Let's go here. I want to try eight again. Wait, what's that? Stone brick? No. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, we'll go try eight just because these move four at a time. So I wanted to see how exactly it would work. So boom. One stone. Aha. We've done it. There we go. It'll only do one item at a time. We've, we've, we've fixed it. So all I have to do now is re-entangle this chest um, with our thing. Da, 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 da. Boom. Processing. Wonderful. Love your work. <laughs> God, what a laggy little teleport we do. And then pow. Cool. Perfect. There we go. We've fixed it. Okay. So that is now... Um, Decently automated. I'm, I'm quite happy. With it. I'm, I'm confident with that. So all we need to... Actually, I think the runes just finished, right? That was the whole thing we just did. Was these are now done. We've got 12. I don't know if that adds up entirely, but we're going to go for it. I might have accidentally made one in between then. Yeah, I definitely did. But there we go. That's a tier 3 blood altar. So this should... It should update. <laughs> I might need to put my orb in here to level him up. Is that possible? I assume that's how that works, right? Um, no, but hold on. Let's bookmark these master or archmage master archmage tier four. Okay. No, we, yeah, we, I think we need a different orb to go in here. Um, what's happening orb. We need the apprentice orbs. So that's going to be, oh, that's for a tier two. Oh, we're moving along here. We need a Magician's, which is going to be a block of gold in here. Um, oh God. <laughs> Mate, can you, can you relax? Let's swap you out. There we go. Um, cool. Huh. There's three stone on here. How did this happen? <laughs> I don't... Did that happen because this doesn't stay for long enough? You know what I mean? Hmm. Hold on. I'm, I'm thinking. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. And we want it to be perfect at, at very least. 
I'm wondering if I do the opposite. Have this not turn on when redstone's applied. Meaning when this is full, it's able to pull. No, but then that only works if there's... Yeah, no, I'm not sure. I mean, this guy's set to happen instantly, pretty much. Um, this guy here is also reading pretty much instantly. Um, this guy here should, should be relatively slow. This guy here is going to be pretty fast, obviously. We could change that. I don't know if that would help that much. But, like, we could just get one of these tiers. You know what I mean? Like, we, we don't need it to be diamond. I'm pretty sure this will do redstone controls on wind powered. Hmm. Oh, this guy... Oh, God. I just realized this guy needs more blood. I don't think we can... I don't know if I'll be able to supply enough blood. Let's go apple. Hold on. Um... Hold on. <laughs> we need some regen. We need some crazy regen happening here. In order to provide enough blood. Hold on. <laughs> How much blood is this thing taking? It's just, <laughs> it just it won't stop. This is what I mean by, um, you need to be prepared <laughs> or else it becomes a little bit stressful. Oh, we've almost filled this thing anyhow. Um, orb. So I'm trying to make the magician's orb. 25,000. Oh, oh, it's done. Cool. Yeah, magician's orb. Awesome. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um. Cool. So, well, what do we want to do here? Um, now that we're tier 3, we can actually make the imbued slates. So, let's go ahead and add that as a recipe. And we'll just... I think we'll just order some. <laughs> I'm, I'm still trying to think how we can reliably make this uh, other thing work. But I I don't necessarily know if we can. How much does this use? 5,000? Man. I suppose with each one we make, it's going to be better. I don't, think, I don't know if it's going to be better by that much, though. This, this, this will be a little bit rough. Um, yeah, all right. So let's search slate. Um, imbued slate. So ho hold on, hold on. I can either try to get it so that we can put more blood into here faster, right? That, that's option number one, which is pretty good. Option number two is that we automate a mob farm that spawns a mob here, or like near here, and then is killed with a sacrificial sword or sacrificial dagger or whatever, and that should, you know, put it in here, put the blood in there. That's pretty good. I do want to use the bees. I will say that. Meaning, alternatively, we push for the end game. How difficult is that realistically? 30,000. We could right click for 30,000. Like, do we just make... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's this for? We, need, we would need four of these. I, I can justify right clicking for four of these. The rest of this stuff, I think we need to check. Like, how difficult it is to get all this. So, the Sanguine Reverter, no, yes, hold on, so Sanguine Reverter, but this thing needs intricate, but I can't craft them currently, I don't have the recipe, interesting, if I grab this, let's have a look, does this help? Um, speed runes, intricate hellforged parts looted from the demon realm, so I'm going to have to go here. Cool. You should go half watch parts, which can be used to double the power. Um. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's quite a bit of work. Um. Uh. Da, 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 da. So I would need to make this, and these are all runes. I would need a hundred and fifty thousand life points available to activate this. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, okay, let's, possibly doable, possibly doable, hold on, <laughs> um, but no, I feel like we probably want, do we want to make displacement runes? I mean, I guess, I'm just trying to figure out, like, how necessary it is at this point, I mean, I guess, all right, let's go, let's go imbued. And so, yeah, we'll just order one for now. So, realistically, for each imbued slate that we make, I get a displacement rune. 
That's pretty good, right? The displacement runes themselves go for, uh, what do they do? Hold on. They increase the pumping by 20%. So that's pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, we, 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 can, we can make that happen. So this guy stores my life essence. Cool. The relic apples are pretty good, as you saw. They, um, they top up your health quite a lot. So I've got an imbued slate. We go displacement rune. I'm going to need a lot more water buckets, I think. Let's order like 1,000. It's going to have to... No way it has craft buckets. Where are our water buckets going? <laughs> Why does this always happen? Like right now, what is happening? That I don't have water buckets in my hand. Like, what are we possibly... Can it just not craft it? It's impossible. It must just be impossible. There we go. That's working. <laughs> but they're not coming to me, are they? The things that this game makes me do. So the water buckets I thought were being made here. And it looks like they are. So what's the problem? Is the problem that we're using... What's the problem? <laughs> Wait. We're making water? No, no. We're putting the bucket in. And it's turning into water. It just looks the opposite. The water goes in and then it turns to... Cool. So... What's, what, this guy's doing that as well. So this guy is putting the water in here. Oh my God, I know what's happening. I think this guy is pulling the water. He actually is emptying it. We need to disable that. Now it's actually working. Oh my God, let's cancel them all. Now when it starts up again, everything's going to work. The water buckets, for example, are, are actually crafting now. We actually... <laughs> oh, God, that's embarrassing. Okay, everything's fine. Everything is a... Okay. <laughs> what are we doing? Hold on. Water bucket. Yeah, cool. So I'm making a displacement rune. There we go. Awesome. Um, we're going to go imbued slates. I'm going to order 10 of these, which are going to take a while, but that's okay. It should all be quite calm and collected. Um, let's go ahead and place this down. Ta-da! So now more blood should be going in here. It should be going in faster. Look at this. To be fair, sometimes it takes these guys a little bit to, like, wake up and realize they have a new rune available. So, does this feel 20% faster? Not sure. But, <laughs> we're getting there. Alright, come on. Let's top this up. <sighs> what I could do as well, is if I go Relic Apple... And I grab out all of them. I mean, if we just search Apple, I'm pretty sure there's like all the modium apples, right? Or, the, yeah, and all the... I'm pretty sure these are like the way to go. Let's search all the modium. Like, we have a ridiculous amount. Let's go here. Let's order 10,000. <laughs> which is a ridiculous amount, to be completely honest with you. And let's... Uh, oh, a carrot, maybe. No. Oh, maybe. So if I get an all the modium carrots... And I eat this. We get insane saturation. To the point where it's doing a ridiculous amount of regen as I right click. On top of the regen. Because it's able to, I'm able to eat it. Is that... <laughs> Maybe? I just craft this stack of them. Because what I was thinking is I can time and bottle this guy. Right? We can go... <gasps> uh, we can go... <laughs> three times. And then as long as I'm able to keep up with the blood, there's nothing to worry about. As you can see, it's draining the blood a lot faster, right? That's totally happening. Oh my god, way faster. It's not even going super. Why, why is it not going super? There we go. Alright, so the relic apples still do help. If not, just a bit. Um, yeah, so look. I, I don't... I don't, I guess the timer ran out, but yeah, cool. So if I go imbued, do we have some? Yeah, look at that. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, let's, let's go for another, what do I, oh, I need it. Oh God. Oh no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah everything, yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Um, what do I need? I need you to become you and then we're going to do that. There we go. That should give me a blank rune. 
Ah. 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 <laughs> Displacement ruined. Cool. Do that there. Brilliant. How cool is that? Why is this guy not... Oh, this guy's not started because it's, like, broken. So it needs to remember that it's a tier 3. So keep that in mind as you're doing this stuff. So, like, once we see the particles, that'll be it knowing. Like, oh, yeah, I'm a tier 3. Sorry, forgot about that. Right? <laughs> Come on. You can do it. I believe... I believe in you. I believe in you. You can do it. You can remember. I promise. <laughs> I swear you can. Uh, what? <laughs> okay, we might be in trouble. Um, I can take it. I'll tell you what. I'll take it out for now, and we'll put it back into the system. Oh wait, no, that's that's a finished one. All right, so something else broke, which I don't. I, I guess I'm okay with. I don't really know. I don't. I don't know. All I know is, look at this. Pretty good progress. Um. Is it noticeable? Are we like gaining it quick enough now that I'm like, oh, look at that. Um, not really quick enough. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it's nothing to write home about, sadly. That's okay. We're getting there. Uh, yeah, cool. So that's what, yeah, nowhere near as many as I need. So I'm going to go ahead and search all the modium. Let me get these ready. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Um, I'd highly suggest turn on turning off head bobbing if you're going to be standing here doing this for a while because I'm just sort of, I, I I was just zoning out as I did it and I realized like, oh, I'm actually, like I'm getting disoriented a little bit. Um, head, view bobbing. Let's turn that off. Does that, I think that stops it. Let's see. Ah, it doesn't. Hold on. Attacking the, no. Huh. What causes that? Cause it's actually like, it's, it's actually, it's bo bothering me. <laughs> Normally I don't really care about this stuff, but like, I don't know. I was like zoning out and, and it's like 30 degree day, 30, I, I don't even know what the temperature is. What's the temperature? <laughs> Let me see. It is allegedly, ah, well it's 30 in my room. Okay. That's <laughs> all I'll give you. Um, but yeah, I don't, uh, okay. I, I thought it would be that, but. What does, it, what does that say? If enabled, players view will bobble moving around. Yeah, well, that didn't really help. Either way, we've at least probably got a few more of these that I can make. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. I don't even know how many we have, but this is working. Oh, we've got a few. <laughs> the day that I don't have to right click it will be awesome. Like, you ready? All right. So that's there. It's placed. What do we see? We've got. Nine of these guys hooked. Uh, we've got eight of these guys hooked up. And it's still sort of at the rate where, like, I kind of need to be the one here. Top. Of uh, you know what? It actually sped up quite a bit at the end there. I don't know if you guys felt that as well. So, a really good telltale to see, like, oh, we've made it, would be if this maintained. At least for the first tier. Ah, uh, to be fair, we're already at the second tier. But you get what I mean? Like, if we were able to actually, like, keep up with it. Because this is making an imbued one. So this uses five buckets worth, normally. And it looks like it'll use five buckets this time as well. Uh, not quite. Imbued slate. Why didn't that get taken out, though? Look, imbued slate's here. This, that should have emitted a redstone, which should have been picked up by this, which should have enabled this, which should have enabled that, which should have gone in there, but for whatever reason, it didn't. I don't really know why. That's the second time that that's happened. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know why. Um, but yeah, in terms of the catching up, I'm watching this. You know what? It's, it's actually pretty good. It's, it's getting pretty good. Uh, yeah, I reckon, <laughs> I reckon it'll be good. We just have a little bit more work to do, but, but we are getting there. I'm, I'm happy with this. Let's go back to imbued. Let's click this. Let's order another 10. <laughs> this is going to be my life for a little while, guys. I, I, look, listen, I know. I know. Pop that up. I'm just gonna be eating these apples, waiting for uh, the speedy Gonzalez one to happen. One of these guys absolutely eats it. It's when the reinforced one pops. Yeah, when this pops in, look at the blood drain, especially with the eight times. 
Make sure it's topped up. Cool. Oh, make sure we take the imbued slate out because for some reason that keeps happening. <laughs> I don't know if I should have done that, but I have, okay? It's now 16 times as fast. You know what? I, I've just sort of realized. I think possibly the blood goats pulled in here faster as well when this thing sped up. That's what I'm sort of gathering from this. Just watching in the top. Like, like look at look that. It's actually keeping up with this blank slate. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. Like, now, when the reinforced slate gets in there, okay. Bigger business. But look at that. Look at that speed up. That is crazy. Yeah, okay. So, like, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> we're on our way. Look at that. It's at nine. It's at ten. Wow. Now, now, obviously, that's eight times as fast as it currently is. But that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, cool. All right, sweet. Well, that was, that was a bunch more that I just got then. So, I'll... I'll pop these guys in. Yeah, look at this. Oi, we're not doing anything currently. And look, look at that. We can make blank slates, like one after the other. No delay. How cool. And this is making a reinforced slate. And look at that. We can maintain it as well. I'm not, I, I think we've done. I think we've done it. Hold on. Like, like, like I'm, I'm not putting any blood into this. I, obviously, like, that blood's going in, but like I'm not right clicking my my life points in here. And that's gonna go from blank slate to reinforce slate. And then it's gonna absorb a ridiculous amount. We're, we normally can't keep oh my god. We're keeping up with the reinforced slate. Now it's I think it might be draining a little bit, but like that's ridiculous. Wow. Yeah, okay, so currently I've got 5, 10, 15, 16 uh, displacement runes. And that, I mean, that's kept up with it. How cool is that? Like, pretty good. Pretty good. Obviously, the more the merrier. So, I um, <laughs> I think I am going to go ahead and uh, finish this up. But that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. <sighs> what to do now with all this, with all this extra <laughs> blood that we've got? Oh, that, yeah. I'm, I'm very happy about that. Cool. So yeah, I can, I can leave this now and this will just, this will just work in the background. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, I will say, yeah, I, I think this is worth doing <laughs> like as in getting this done and then we'll work on the rest of the steps in blood magic. Cause being able to go, for example, and like fill up my blood orb or something for a ritual and not have to worry or like, Oh, we need some runes. I'll just craft them. We've got the blood. I don't have to sit here and right click. It should be pretty good. It should be pretty good. The ritual, for example, what that's going to do is... Uh, hold on. I, I believe we can get a sigil. And there's like a sigil of capacity or sigil of holding? No. <laughs> there's a sigil here. Come on, sigil. Void sigil? No. Seer sigil. Divination? Peer into this. I don't actually know. <laughs> I don't have a clue. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to consult the book. Um, but there's a way to read how much blood you have. Um, blood altar, soul network, soul network, ritual, soul network, soul. I'm looking for the keywords here. Um, blood orbs, soul network, blood orb, blood altar, speed runes. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. That, that didn't help. Um, huh. <laughs> What's this? Blood runes? Nope. Don't care. Entry index. Not a clue. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, the divination sigil. I just had to guess which one it was and look through them. Um, when right clicks while aiming at the air with the bound sigil, it will display the amount of life points that is in the owner's soul network. Cool. So we need a divination sigil thingy. So let's go ahead and bookmark it. There we go. We're going to need redstone, some arcane ash, and a blank slate. So let's search slates. Um, let's order a blank slate. I don't really know what's happening at the moment. I'm sure that... Oh, it's, why does this happen? It's clogged on imbued slates. I might have to... Hmm. I, don't, I, I don't really know. I guess I just have to sort of help it out a little bit. Do we have a blank slate laying around? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yoink that one. <laughs> um, I also need arcane ash which I can make in an alchemy table. 
which uses that blank slate that I just had that I was loving so much. Hold on. So, bear with me. Boom. We've got this guy. I need all of this stuff, which I can do. Um, let's also clear a little bit. So we'll grab gunpowder, white dye, redstone. We'll chuck those in. We'll chuck in our magician's orb and it's going to process. Cool. It's nice visuals on this. I, I, I like a good uh, 3D texture, of course. A classic. <laughs> um, boom. And ta-da, arcane ashes. Cool. So arcane ashes, um, redstone and a blank slate. I think we'll have a blank slate laying around here somewhere. Well, there's one in there at the moment. Oh, boom. Cool. I might need to uh, restart these rituals here, but that's fine. Can we go... Um, let's go reinforce slate 10, because I think when it does the reinforce slate, it accidentally makes um, the imbued one. I've, I've noticed it doing that. Uh, so, how do we do this? Let's have a look. You need to create an alchemy array and use redstone dust and a blank slate. Cool. So, this, and then this, and then this. And then it will create some magic, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Here we go. Yep. And, oh, it's, it's done, or it's about to be done. And we get a divination sigil. So, I can right click, and as you can see, we have uh, 3,900 life points. Uh, what we can do is we can cancel our stuff. So once these are done, well, they'll be done. So we'll take all that stuff out. I don't mind one more blank slate. Um, and then we'll put our orb in there and we'll see what we're dealing with. We'll, we'll see how quickly we gain more blood because I believe it, it absorbs the blood from this altar. And I'm assuming the displacement runes increase that speed as well. We can probably double check. Um, Flow of rate of life into and out of the altar when pumping to a tank. No, so I, I think that there's probably a different rune um, at blood that handles the rune. It could also just be the speed, to be honest with you. Speed or like acceleration or something. Uh, but either way, so uh, 3,900, we put in our magician's orb. And as you can see, it does start draining, but we're actually able to somewhat keep up with it. And if we're actually we're at 5,000, and whatnot. So we need 150,000. Won't take too long. I could speed it. I could speed this up time in a bottle and stuff. Probably would actually go quite well. Um, in the fluid grid, of course, we have 2,000 buckets. So we're going to be pretty good on that. Um, yeah, I'll just leave that there. I'll leave that. And in between now and next episode, if I happen to be on building the base over there, or if I'm just, you know, doing an intro talking or like preparing for the rest of the stuff, that should just fill up. Um, what we could do as well, at, since we're getting pretty confident in crafting, we could order a bunch of imbued slates, make a bunch of displacement runes, and just make a second altar that's just constantly being filled with the blood from all of um, the bees. We can do that. No one's going to stop us. <laughs> um, so yeah, cool. I'm happy with that. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. Hopefully you're having fun. Thank you again for the helpful comments. Um, knowing that it was possible to get the bees to work with the... Uh, Omega upgrades um, was very, very helpful. So thank you again to um, Dark Vision, um, Tamon, and Calder in the comments of the last episode. They uh, pretty much were like, yeah, it's possible. You can do it. So I, I probably wouldn't have tried otherwise. Um, so thank you. And uh, obviously, thank you for watching. Hopefully you are enjoying the series. I believe you guys are, hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So much fun playing this game. <laughs> like, they're, they're, obviously, like, you know, I, I miss a few days and stuff, but some days, most days, honestly, like, I'll just be thinking, like, oh, I actually can't wait. <laughs> like, I, I, I can't wait to, like, you know, have a crack at this. And, uh, which is honestly a little bit weird because the, this whole blood magic stuff, it feels a bit like a chore. But, like, being able to automate some of the aspects of it, it it's very, very fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, it's probably not that different than what I did in the past. But... Bees, I guess. But yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you, of course, to our channel members um, and our donators. Thank you, guys. You don't need to. Don't feel pressured to by any means, but thank you to those of you that have. Um, thank you to our Tier 3 channel members, Melizzy and Final Phoenix 13 And thank you to Sven the One, who has rejoined as a channel member. Um, welcome. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, cool. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. I do need a thumbnail. I'm assuming I'll just do, like, 
automated blood magic or something. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, cool. All right, goodbye.